Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, declaring as I do that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, 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 and be glad in it. Friends, I tell you, I am still rejoicing from the launch service this past Friday. I want to thank everyone everyone for coming out and supporting my new ministry, NonaThomasWorldwide.com. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your love. And I want you to stay tuned to our website, NonaThomasWorldwide.com and TheCBCRadioShow.com to keep updated on our monthly crusades. We will be having our next crusade next month in August. So make sure you keep going to that website to get information. Thank you, everybody who supported. We are packed with some wonderful Wonderful guest today. We're going to have on the program this morning, Miss Andrea Stewart of Banana Yummies. Let me tell you, you have got to get by 497 Airport Road because this is a wonderful new restaurant that just opened right there in Ferguson. You don't want to miss the interview with her. We also have on the program our July Author of the Month for the Christian Business Connection, none other than Apostle Frank Bio. He has been blessing us with such gr- great revelation for The Watchman Sees, book two, Seeing Beyond What You See, A More Sure Word of Prophecy. He's going to be on the program this morning, and he's got some more revelation to tell us I can't wait. We also have on the program this morning Yvette Thomas, who is the founder of the State of the Art Adult Health Care Center. You know, she's going to be having her open house coming up on Thursday, July 28th, and I'm going to be broadcasting live the C. CBC radio show from her open house. So you don't want to be there. It's going to be free food, giveaways, fun. You'll get to tour this wonderful facility, and she's going to talk about that. We also have on the program none other than Bishop Prentice Thomas. He is doing a special series called Faith Matters. And yes, it does. Yes, it does. He's going to be a part of the program this morning. And you know, I am so excited about our new segment, which is being brought to you by none other than Chef Catherine Smith of Umami. Me, catering and events LLC. You see, our new series is the healthy cooking series on the lighter side. So for this month, she has been blessing us with some great recipes, some great tips. So you're going to have to stay tuned for that. And then, of course, we have always on the show, Dr. Tebow, none other than Dr. Katrina Thompson Bowdry. And she's giving us our healthy living tip. Oh, she is a great source of income. And I'm telling you, when you need chiropractic services and you need them. You do. It's not just for an injury. You really do. Give her a call. She's going to be on the program as well today. Friends, it's so much to tell you. I can't do it all. I can't do it all. You just have to stay with me and make sure you're here so you don't miss any of it. Call somebody, text somebody, tell them that the CBC Christian Business Connection radio show is on. I'm going to take a short break. And when I come back, we're going to be talking with Miss Andrea Stewart of Banana Yummies. Stay with me. I'll be right back. This is Apostle Bio. I've been hosted on the program CBC, author of the month. I'm really excited to have been with uh, Evangelist Thomas. This is an exciting time. We're introducing our book, which is called The Watchman Sees Book 2, uh, Seeing Beyond What You See. The fact is that this book is not designed to bring fear, but it's to inform and to bless the individuals. It is a topical book. It's not chronological, but yet what it will do is it will inform you as to what is going on, and this is nothing more than a clarification or an explanation of current event. So therefore, be blessed. If you're interested in getting this book, which I know you will, I suggest that you contact me at bioministries.org or bioministries at gmail.com, and you'll have plenty of information on how you can order this book. But be sure you listen to the rest of the month, because we're going to be continuing to talk on this book, The Watchman Sees, book two, and this will be on this program, CBC Radio Show. The Lord bless you and keep you. Ladies, you are invited to a special women's retreat hosted by myself, Evangelist Nona Thomas, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 14th through 17th at Sojourn Christian Retreat, located in Dittmer, Missouri. Our theme for this retreat is your refreshing for the next level. One 
cost includes bus transportation, two-night accommodations, meals, snacks, pampering, giveaways, and so, so much more. This time of refreshing is for your next level that God is preparing you for. Call 314-270-2225 to get more information. Don't miss what God is doing at this retreat. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I was telling you at the top of the program about this new thing in town. Glory to God. Banana Yummies Bakes and Burgers is open and ready for business. And we're so blessed that we have on the program this morning the owner, the founder, the everything at Banana Yummy. So I want to welcome Miss Andrea Stewart. Good morning. Good morning. Such a great pleasure to be here this morning. It is. It is. Now, you were on the show once before, so I'm going to remind you what the drill is before we get started, okay? And it is, I'm going to ask you this question. Is this the day that the Lord has made for you? This is definitely the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. All right, all right. You got an A. You got an A. Go start, girl. You did it. <laughs> well, I just want to tell you, I'm just so excited, so proud. You are doing a fantastic work right there at 497 Airport Road. I'm excited about it. I know you are. I am extremely excited. Very happy that uh, we were able to go ahead and get to this day uh, where we have the doors open and ready for business. <laughs> Indeed. Now, I just want to tell my listeners that we're not talking about just any, you know, any old thing we're talking about a classy restaurant that is even has a little bit of quirkiness to it uh it is truly unique what you have done right there in ferguson tell us about this vision that god brought to pass for you well i've been in the uh, ferguson community since about 2011 where we actually started um the business there at the ferguson farmer's market and um because of that and because uh you know we had been here for a little while i wanted to stay in the ferguson community um, and so being able to find the location that we had was a great blessing. And uh, we found that, and uh, we were able to go ahead and bring some of the, you know, our special menu treats. Uh, a lot of times people ask why the, the funny name. Well, that's because we started off just doing frozen bananas, mm-hmm. uh, where we, you know, dipped them in chocolate or butterscotch and then the toppings of your choices. And uh, so that's where the, the name came from. But then as we grew and began to expand our menu, um, all the, the menu items were being received very well. And we decided to go ahead and take the plunge. And, uh, and we're actually now Banana Yummies Bakes and Burgers. You know, you're, you're so humble. You said received very well. What you say, girl? Overwhelmingly received, okay? Because you have some of the best burgers in town. Tell us about the burgers. Let's just start right there. Tell us about the menu. Well, um, we call ourselves the home of the stuffed burger. So we do have, of course, our classic burgers. One that I'm particularly happy about is because it's a sentimental value is our Big Rich Burger, which is our classic burger. It's uh, the namesake of my grandfather. Mm -hmm. Uh, When we were kids, uh, he would make us these monstrous burger <laughs> and we were just so excited he used to tell us you don't need a big mac you get a big rich and we <laughs> we were so excited to get a big rich and so uh he has passed on now and i said and he didn't get a chance to see the restaurant so i wanted to make sure to honor his memory by put placing uh that big rich on our menu so it is a monstrous burger um but we also like i said we're home of the uh, stuffed burger so we have um, you know, some of our uh, classic flavors are the cheddar jalapeno bacon stuffed burger. Uh, we have our um, the beef pepper steak stuffed burgers. Uh, but then, of course, we don't leave out the turkey, the turkey mm-hmm. eaters. Mm-hmm. You know, so we have, actually, which is one of my favorites, our apple apple gouda smoked uh, turkey burger. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I, can, I, can I just uh, talk about that cheddar uh, jalapeno bacon stuffed <laughs> burger for a second? Because when I was at your restaurant recently, let me just tell Tell the folks what what's in that, okay? Okay. All right. Now that is stuffed with cheddar cheese, jalapenos, bacon. My goodness. Uh, <laughs> topped with lettuce, tomato, jalapenos, red onions, and that yum sauce. Yeah. And I want to say to America, I could scream it to America. <laughs> it is delicious and it is huge. Oh my yes. goodness, it is so huge. And 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 folks, what I had with that because she has some phenomenal sides. Let me tell you what I had on the side with that. I had um, the uh, corn on the cob, but what's the special? What's the special name for it? Uh, well, we have our, our corn on the cob. Now we have uh, you know a couple different uh, flavors of it. We do it, of course, in the butter, but then we have our, our garlic herb uh, 
corn, and we also have a jalapeno bacon corn. Oh, I didn't know about the jalapeno bacon. I had the other one. Well, glory to God, it doesn't matter. It's all delicious. <laughs> but I just had to get my two cents in there on that cheddar, cheddar jalapeno bacon. Oh, my goodness. All Everything is delicious. It's delicious. What's your favorite? Uh, well, my favorite burger, of course, is like I mentioned, was that uh, tur- turkey gouda uh, stuff with the apples. Uh, is actually my favorite burger, and we have our special this month that I, it's it's one I really like, but uh, it, it's not for the faint of heart. It's our Nashville uh, hot hot burger, oh. uh, and it is a burger that's actually dipped in that Nashville hot sauce, and it has our yum sauce on there to help cool things down a little bit. Uh, uh, delicious burger, but if you like it spicy, that's the one for you. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, I know that you also have daily value meals. Tell us about those. Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, so we have our, uh, because our, we have our high, higher end menus, but we also have, you know, something for you to run in, grab a bite, and run out. We have uh, our value menus, which start at $4.99, mm-hmm. uh, where you can get, uh, you know, either the value burger, uh, two sliders, or even a yum dog, um, and then your chips and a drink, uh, and those are only $4.99, so you can, we call them our grab and goes. Uh, so, you know, great for, you know, a lunchtime uh, run-in, uh, you know, where you can just grab something and you don't have a lot of time and, and your stomach's not that big. <laughs> right, right. Now, and then, of course, we got to save a little room for the yummy desserts. Tell us about those. Definitely. Yeah, the name is uh, Banana Yummies Bakes and Burgers. So we do have uh, baked goods uh, that change daily. And then, of course, you could always, of course, place your order for uh, either a custom design cake or, you know, any of the uh, flavors that we have. One uh, specialty that we have this month that we just started um, is our um, uh, caramel butter, caramel butter caramel bunt cake. And uh, that one is a pretty popular one um, that we have here right now. Uh, butter caramel bunt cake. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Now, I want to let my listeners know, if you're just tuning in, you probably can't wait for us to say one more time where she's located, okay? So tell us where you're located. Give us your hours. And you've also got entertainment on certain days as well. We do. Um, different times during the month on the weekends, we have we do have a live yum stage. And so we do also encourage your listeners, if anyone has a, a special talent, it's not just musical. Uh, it could be, um, you know, you could be a spoken word. You could be uh, a performance artist. Uh, it could be a, an, an actual painter or something, you know, but we're just looking for talent in the St. Louis area um, that we do have that here on the weekends. Uh, and we are, again, here at uh, 497 Airport Road in between New Florissant and right before you get to Berkeley. And our hours are Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 9 p.m. Now, can we also call in orders? Definitely. Uh, we actually do have people that uh, make their orders uh, as call-ins. You can definitely call ahead, and we can have your ready your order ready for you when you get here. Wonderful. Well, I just want to endorse it. I'm telling you, St. Louis, you got to get over to Banana Yummies, located at 497 Airport Road. It will be well worth your time. I promise you. I mean, it's a definite. Well, I tell you what, Miss Andrea, will you be willing to come back uh, on the show next week and give us some more specials and things that are going on at Banana Yummies? I would love to. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Congratulations on the vision coming to pass at Banana Yummies. And thank you so much for being a part of the show. Thank you. It was my pleasure. All right, friends, we're going to take a break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. You are invited to the CBC Leadership Networking and Prayer Breakfast Tuesday, July 26th, 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. at Old Henry's Restaurant located at 8600 Airport Road. Great networking, excellent food, and more. For more information and tickets, go to thecbcradioshow.com or call 270-2225. This is Apostle Bio. I've been hosted on the program CBC, author of the month. I am really excited to have been with uh, Evangelist Thomas. This is an exciting time. We're introducing our book, which is called The Watchman Sees Book Two, uh, Seeing Beyond What You See. The fact is that this book is not designed to bring fear, but it's to inform and to bless the individuals. It is a topical book. It's not chronological, but yet what it will do is it will inform you as to what is going on, and this is nothing more than a clarification or an explanation of current events. So, therefore, be blessed. If you're interested in getting this book, which I know you will, I suggest that you contact me at bioministries.org or bioministries at gmail.com, and you'll have plenty of information on how you can order this book. But be sure you listen to the rest of the month because we're going to be 
continuing to talk on this book, The Watchman Sees, book two, and this will be on this program, CBC Radio Show. The Lord bless you and keep you. Don't miss the CBC Radio Show Live. Join Evangelist Nona Thomas as the CBC Radio Show will air live at State of the Art Adult Health Care Center. Open house Thursday, July 28th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Located at 4130 East Lexington. Tour this great facility, enjoy free food, giveaways, and more. Thursday, July 28th, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at 4130 East Lexington. CBC Radio Show Live broadcast. Don't miss it. For more info, go to thecbcradioshow.com or call 270-2225. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. Friends, we are so blessed. We've been talking in this month of July with Apostle Frank Bayer, who is our CBC Author of the Month. His book, The Watchman Sees, number two, Seeing Beyond What You See, A More Sure Word of Prophecy, has been a great blessing. So we want to continue that as we have Apostle Frank Bayer on the program with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Apostle. Good morning, Evangelist. And how are you this blessed day? Oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to start it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I rejoice. And what's the end? And I will be glad in it. Hallelujah. <laughs> so that's good. We're on one accord. We're starting off good. <laughs> yeah, amen. Amen. Well, Apostle, we have just been so blessed as you have been talking with us throughout this month of July about your new book, The Watchman Sees Two. And can you just give us a foundation for those new folks who might be tuning in this morning uh, to tell us about this book? Well, the purpose of this book is basically there's a lot of people that have been questioning about what's going on in the world today. And this book here, basically it explains a lot of the current events in light of Bible prophecy. The the fact is that a lot of people find that whenever you talk about Bible prophecy, they think the book of Revelation is too complicated. But the fact is that that's the reason why God has put in what we call the sons of Issachar, who are able to see the time the signs of the times, and are able to explain what is going on. And I believe that that's where we are today. And the purpose of this book is basically to inform and not to cause fear. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that's where the biggest problem in the church today, there are many churches today that don't don't even talk about what we call eschatology of the time, the end times, uh, because of its supposed complexity. But what we're seeing now is not so much as problems, prophesying or those declaring those things that are in the future, even though there's a part of that. But the important thing is explaining everything that we see that's taken place, even before our very eyes. Yes, yes. You, so true, Apostle. Right? Things are developing. I mean, every day. When we go to sleep at night, mm-hmm. you, it's, it's just amazing what we wake up to in the news feed the next day, isn't it? That is correct. That's correct. And the sad part about it is that the news media, the always uh, they're always feeding on the fear factor. Mm-hmm. Okay, and yet the scripture says, "Look up your redemption draweth nigh," which is extremely positive. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and, and so that's the purpose of this book is not to uh, dwell on the fear aspect as much as uh, the Word of God gives a solution. That yes, I look at the last chapter of the Bible, and we win. You know, that's the exciting part about <laughs> yes, it. Yes, so. yes, it is. It is. And so um, it's so amazing, Apostle, that as you were writing this book, and we must say that it's in conjunction writing it with. Apostle um, uh, Hal- Halton Horton, am I correct? Yes, that is correct. Apostle yeah, yeah. Horton, correct, yes. And so, as when you all wrote this book, uh, it's just lining up so with things that are going on right now, especially with what's happening in Europe. Can you expound on that? Yes. Uh, a lot of people don't understand the fact that what England, when it just recently pulled out of the European Union, mm-hmm. uh, it has, uh, that is nothing more than another step going to fulfill prophecy. The reason I say that is because there is a statue that is a vision that a king had by the name of Nebuchadnezzar, and he 
didn't know what the interpretation was, but there was a man by the name of Daniel, a man of God, that interpreted the vision, and he said, you, the head which is made out of gold represents you, the Babylonian Empire. And he says, and there's going to be another kingdom, which is the chest, that made out of silver, and that represents two kingdoms, the Mede and the Persians. Then later on he says that the waist is made out of brass. We call that the Bronze Age, and we know that to be the Grecian Empire. And it said that the legs are made out of iron, Iron, and that represented the most tyrannical uh, um, uh, empire that ever lived, and that was the Roman Empire. And yet the Roman Empire didn't, was never destroyed. It decayed from inside out, and which then leads us to the ten toes that this whole colossus stands on. It's made out of the toes are made out of iron and clay, representing the fact that they're going to be different political and ideological views but not they're all not going to agree what happened is the european union or the eu as it's known what happened is it has formed this an alliance of all these nations in europe there's 28 nations and a lot of people say well then that does not line up with what is going on with those ten toes mm -hmm. but just recently with england pulling out of the european union now there is a call amongst the member nations to reduce the members to ten nations once again Again, lining up with those ten yes, toes. Yes. And not only that, but they also want to create their own currency based on gold. They also want to establish a new military, which means that NATO will no longer be a military force to be reckoned with in Europe. So a lot of the things are beginning to line themselves up that these ten toes, if you will, are going to be standing alone as an entity, but they're going to be a world power. Now, the significance of this out of these ten nations, that's where, in this book, The Watchman Sees, I identify the false prophet. And I also talk about the Antichrist. Now, the Antichrist is a person that emulates a lot of the things that Jesus did, including to the fact that it looks like he's going to be killed, but will be raised up again on the third day, emulating Christ. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of people do not realize that right now the set of stage, the stage has already been set. This information is in the book. And in a place called Belgium, which seems to be the hub of the European Union, as a matter of fact, there is the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, the World Courts, and all of these major, major world powers are housed in Brussels, Belgium. There is one building there that is called the Palais de Justice, or the Palace of Justice. That happens to be where the world courts preside. And uh, evangelists, I'm telling you that if you see it, I checked it out and I did a study and I found that it has four major architectural designs. Mm -hmm. In other words, influences by architecture, right? And it has Grecian, Babylonian, Persian, and Roman, lining up with those four parts of the Colossus that Daniel seen. And therefore, we're beginning to see everything now is beginning to fall into place, and we're seeing everything is beginning to line itself up for this great world religious leader and this great world um, uh, military leader, which we call the Antichrist. Apostle Bio, it is yes. just amazing. You know, uh, as you were talking and as I'm listening and 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 it's it's revelation on on many of the things that you're saying even to me. Uh all I could say behind what you just said mm -hmm. is folks, Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Amen. That's that's the bottom line. Yeah. And and what he has done, he has used uh, uh, vessels as yourself and Apostle Horton to yes. to really just wake us up. You know, it's it's almost Correct. it's it's like you just want to shake shake the world and yes. say, wake up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but that's there right. are things that we have to be aware of, and that's yes. what this book does, right? Exactly, and, and it does another thing too. Is it also makes us, as you were saying, is we have to get our houses in order if we truly believe that Jesus is coming back, we need to get our vertical relationship right. And what that's going to do is when I have my relationship, my vertical relationship right, uh, uh, evangelist, that means my horizontal relationships begin to fall into place. Mm -hmm. So therefore, what happens is
is when the the people of God begin to raise uh, rise up and they say, Lord, we want revival in the house. We want us to go back to the core values of what we believe in. Then what ends up happening is you're going to see a lot of these problems that we see in our communities beginning to subside. When the church begins to take its rightful place, yes. all of those things have to go away. Yes, yes. You said it when the church begins yes. to take its rightful place. First of all, it's something wrong with that sentence, but, you know, that's right. just where we are. You know, uh, I, I've often said that Jesus is standing at the door of the church, knocking, yes. knocking right. to get in. Oh, that's we right. got to let him in. And yeah. when we know, you know, because people will say that they'll get so desensitized with so much that is happening in the world, Apostle, yes. that we overlook the signs. We overlook yes. the warnings. And this book, The Watch. Watchman sees tell us. I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Apostle Frank Bio, the author of The Watchman Sees Two, book number two, Seeing Beyond What You See, a More Sure Word of Prophecy. And you know, that book, that title, that says it all right there, a more sure word of prophecy. We even need more than what we've had, right? Amen. Amen. Now, one thing I want to say, Apostle, you are available. You know, you travel the country, yes. travel the country teaching on this book and, and other subjects. So how can folks book you to come into their church, into their ministry and talk about this? If they will go to my uh, my email address, it's bioministries at gmail.com. They can communicate with me via my email, and I'll be more than glad to uh, send them a flyer and some literature and even some demo CDs so that they can get a better understanding of our, ma- uh, of our ministry. And I also have a website, which is bioministries.com, and in there there are articles, and I'm getting ready to expand it with teaching videos videos. Mm -hmm. It's it's a work in progress, but I know that they will be blessed. Amen. And Apostle, spell your last name for us so we'll make sure they get that. It's B as in boy, A-I-O. Wonderful. Now, where can we go to get the book as well? That would be also on bioministries.com. Bioministries.com. Now, yes. this is one of, you know, you've written other books as well. Can you, yes. can you kind of tell us a couple of the yes. other uh, books that you've written, right. Apostle? The first, the first book is Watchman, uh, Watchman Sees, Book One, and that is the, the Issachar Generation. We now have this book here, which is the Watchman Sees, Book Two. We also have a book called The Demise of the Republic, which talks about the demise or where America is in Bible prophecy. Another one is called You Could Be a Giant Killer, and this talks about the weapons of our warfare. They're not just only the sword of the Spirit, but they're a multiplicity of weapons that God has given us to be victorious in life and in ministry. And then I have another book which has really, really been popular. It's called God's Word is a Medicine. It talks about healing, and I'm going to say this. The Bible tells us that healing is the believer's bread. Mm Mm-hmm. So therefore, if you're going through a physical problem, this uh, this book will not only encourage you, but it'll give you scriptures that you can declare into the spirit realm over your physical, emotional, spiritual, uh, everything, and relational problems, and this will help you to overcome those challenges. I love that. Uh, give us that title again one more time, would you, Apostle? The la- this last one is God's Word is a Medicine. Yes, yes. That's it right there. <laughs> Amen. God's Word is a Medicine medicine. Hallelujah. Yes. Apostle, I know that uh, the Lord has just downloaded. I mean, it's it's apparent that the Lord has downloaded you with right. so much information to give to the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. And I know that even with all that he's done up to this point, I, you've got a couple more books in you. I know that you're probably working on, don't you? Right. I have one book that has just been released as well, which I have not been able to put it in on my website and everything like that. It's called Allah is Not Our God. And I believe we're going to be showcasing that sometime next month. And uh, there's another one that I'm in the process of working on. is called The Journey of the Blood. Mm. That is a very, very powerful book. It talks about the blood as we see it from the book of Genesis all the way through the book of Revelation. And I don't think that the Church of Jesus Christ understands the power of the blood. Andre Crouch wrote that song, and he sings it, The Blood Will Never Lose Its Power. Uh, yeah. That 
says it all. That's that's that that's it. That's the exclamation point right there. Yes. <laughs> well, Apostle, we're about out of time today. Yes. Uh, I, I just thank you so much for being a part of the program. Is there anything else that you'd like to say in closing? I just want to uh, tell the your hearers that are listening to this broadcast and to uh, to this this segment. Uh, I'm just saying I'm tr- I'm praying right now that the Lord of Glory, uh, that Jesus who's going to come back soon for a church for that spot or blemish, will supply all of your need according to his riches and glory, for God has already sent forth his word on your behalf to accomplish his purpose, that he receives all of the honor, the glory, and the power, and the praise. Look up, remember, put on your praise, for your praise will make a way for your victory. Hallelujah. That's good news this morning. Thank you so much, Apostle Frank Bio, our CBC July Author of the Month. Bless you, sir. Bless you, Evangelist. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. I'll be right back. Good morning, and thanks for listening to Dr. Tebow's Cairo Healthy Living Tip. Today's topic is anxiety. Anxiety is a normal response to stressors in life or even to a dangerous situation. However, anxiety becomes a problem when it's, in, when it's inappropriate to the circumstances we encounter with our normal daily activities of living. During anxiety, you will feel racing heartbeats, shaky hands, chest pains, tensions in the neck, or even headaches, and so much more. So what can you do to make sure that you or someone that you love have healthy tips to help out during anxiety attack? Well, stay put because I have some tips for you. Number one, good nutrition. Certain foods create anxiety. So keep foods such as whole grains, leafy green vegetables, nuts, and oats available to keep your anxiety down. Number two, avoid certain foods such as caffeine and alcohol. These cause your anxiety to flare. And also redefine sugars such as cakes, cookies, and candy. These can cause a spike in your system and your emotions can plummet. Number three, check and take. That's what I like to call this one. Check and take to see if your calcium and magnesium levels are fine. If these levels are low, start incorporating these minerals of calcium and magnesium into your lifestyle because they can calm down your nervous system. Number four, aromatherapy. Using your essential oils such as jasmine, lavender, and melissa are among the best when you are dealing with anxiety. Use them in bathing or diffusing or in deep breathing techniques. Last but not least, chiropractic. Chiropractic care can help by improving the connection from the brain to the rest of your body, ensuring that you feel normal. Some patients feel less anxiety symptoms immediately. So remember, your health is important and your spinal health is too. So get adjusted because it can make a big difference inside of you. If you have any questions, you can reach me on Facebook at Dr. Katrina Thompson Bowdry, Instagram or Twitter at The Pocket Doctor, or you can give me a call at 636-336-8049. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be talking this morning with Yvette Thomas, who is the founder of the State of the Art School. We're so excited because we have a special event coming up this month at the Open House on the 28th of July. And it's going to be a grand time. It's going to be a live broadcast of the CBC Radio Show. So I can't wait for that. And I want to introduce to you this morning, Mrs. Yvette Thomas of the State of Art School. Good morning. Good morning, Evangelist Nona. And you know the question I'm going to ask you. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. <laughs> All right, and you will rejoice and, and be yes, glad in it. Yes, I will rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get an A, you get a gold star for that. <laughs> well, I tell you, we're just so excited about what the Lord is doing right there in Midtown in St. Louis with the State of the Art School. Isn't he doing a wonderful work? Yes, it is uh, the State of the Art Adult Healthcare Center. The -the state-of-the-art school for the developmentally disabled doing business as the -the state-of-the-art adult health care center. Yes, yes, yes. And, you know, I I was there recently for uh, an event that you had, and it was, oh, my goodness, it was such a wonderful turnout. We're expecting the same thing as we broadcast live this month, right? 
Yes, ma'am. Yes. So tell us about the basic services that you provide there. Well, the adult daycare is opened Monday through Friday from 8.15 to 4 p.m., 4.15 4, p.m. Mm-hmm. We do provide transportation to and from the center. We have field trips. We have nutritious meals. We do provide a variety of activities to include arts and crafts, table games. We have a ping pong table. We have a pool table. And we are in the process of getting an air hockey table. (laughs) And uh, we do have lots of um, table games to stimulate the mind and um, activities to help prevent memory loss, activities called sensory activities for those who have problems with sensory deficits like numbness, tingling, and um, different uh, conditions that people undergo through Mm -hmm. the aging process. Mm -hmm. We have daily devotion, and uh, we do go on field trips once a week. The participants get to choose where they would like to go. You know, what I really love about the services that you provide there that I have witnessed myself is that everything is so well-rounded. It's like a 360. You all really try to take care of the whole man, don't you? We sure do (laughs) because we do have uh, physical exercises daily. Mm -hmm. This is an important part of the plan of activities Mm -hmm. because most times elderly people, they need motivation to exercise. Yes. So we exercise to music. And we make it simple but fun. Yes. And, you know, everything we do, it's therapeutic, but we have a fun approach. (laughs) Yes, yes. And all the participants that come, they become part of a big family. Everybody is concerned about everyone. So it's like a family. to, I really have to agree with that. I, I, I guess I'll just give a testimony uh, because of the many times that I have been to your facility. It is like a family. And I think it's important that loved uh, ones know that, that when they put their uh, their mother, father, uh, child, sibling, aunt, uncle, when they bring them to your facility, they will be treated just like family. And that's important, isn't it? That is so important. And the, I would like for as many people as possible to come out to the open house on July 28th. But you can also come and take a tour of the facility. It's a place that's secure, where there's trust, Mm -hmm. and your loved one will be well cared for. We do um, have a medical model, so we look at all the medications that you take, and the diet plan is structured to follow your um, diet plan that was prescribed by your medical doctor, Mm -hmm. and it's in compliance with your medication. Yes, yes. And I, I also want to say and give a, 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 a plug and hats off to your chefs there because the food mm-hmm. is wholesome. It's delicious. It's, I mean, the, the food is wonderful. <laughs> so most definitely uh, you're going to be taken care of in that area too. <laughs> yes. Now, you know, in, in regards to the open house and the live CBC radio show on Thursday, July 28th, we want to let folks know that the open Open house uh, time is actually from 10 to 3. Is that right? 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Oh, okay, 9. Wow. From mm-hmm. 9 to 3. And we will be broadcasting live there from 11 to 1. So, you know, you've conveniently made it where folks can come on out, maybe even on their lunchtime, and get to see firsthand the facility, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we're just about out of time. If I was to ask you, uh, what is one of your most favorite features, one of your most favorite things about your facility, what would you say? One of the most favorite things about a facility that all the participants look forward to is the food. (laughs) (laughs) That's one of the main things. And all of them said they love to come here because they also enjoy the exercises. Yes, yes. So... Yes, and it, and it is such a large facility there. Yes. I mean, you know, one you could of, almost, uh, you know, jog in there, for goodness one sake. One of the participants said, if I don't come here for anything else, I'm going to come here for the good food. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is truly a labor of love that the Lord placed within you, isn't it? 
Yes. Yes. And with your medical uh, background, very uh, so many years of medical background and community service, it almost seemed natural for you to do this type of facility in the, yes. in the neighborhood. I, I've, I've been an occupational therapist for 35 years. Mm-hmm. So this is so natural. Yes. Yes. Well, I just want to uh, congratulate you on the work is done. And we can't wait until uh, the open house and we broadcast live. And we're going to talk with you every week leading up to that, aren't we? Yes. All right. I want to thank you again, First Lady Yvette Thomas of the State of the Art Adult Daycare Center for being a part of the CBC Radio Show today. Thank you. My pleasure. All right, friends. We're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Ladies, you are invited to a special women's retreat hosted by myself, Evangelist Nona Thomas, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 14th through 17th at Sojourn Christian Retreat, located in Dittmer, Missouri. Our theme for this retreat is your refreshing for the next level. One cost includes bus transportation, two-night accommodations, meals, snacks, pampering, giveaways, and so, so much more. This time of refreshing is for your next level that God is preparing you for. Call 314-270-2225 to get more information. Don't miss what God is doing at this retreat. Don't miss the CBC Radio Show Live. Join Evangelist Nona Thomas as the CBC Radio Show will air live at State of the Art Adult Health Care Center. Open house Thursday, July 28th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Located at 4130 East Lexington. Tour this great facility, enjoy free food, giveaways, and more. Thursday, July 28th, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at 4130 East Lexington. CBC Radio Show Live broadcast. Don't miss it. For more info, go to thecbcradioshow.com or call 270-2225. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I'm so excited. You know, we started last week, part Mm -hmm. one of our Faith Matters series. Mm -hmm. And none other than the Bishop, Bishop Prentice Thomas, is going to take us through these weeks on Faith Matters. He started Mm -hmm. last week with part one, and here Mm -hmm. we are with part two. So I want to welcome back to the CBC Radio Show, Bishop Prentice Thomas. Good morning, Bishop. Well, I'll say God bless America. It's so nice to be here my God with my evangelist, Nona Thomas. She's such a go-getter, isn't she, you all? And she has such connections with everybody. It's just wonderful. She's a woman that you want to know. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And it's so good to be with you on this wonderful day in the name of Jesus. And you're declaring that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Be to God. Hallelujah. 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 It is a great day. Mm-hmm. Every day that the S-O-N is shining. Not the mm. S-U-N, but the S-O-N. Every yes. day is a great day in him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Bishop, we're leading up. We're just uh, mm-hmm. uh, not that many days away because we're uh-huh. going to be broadcasting live the CBC radio God, show from the State of the Art Adult Health Care Center. We're going to have a good time, aren't we? Oh, absolutely. And especially if, if you're anywhere in the vicinity of me, you're going to have a good time. And my wife. Amen. Glory be Amen. to God. And that woman is something else. She is. Uh, she, she's she's a machine in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yes, she is. And uh, First Lady Yvette Thomas, she mm-hmm. was on the show this morning, and we're talking mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. that broadcast live during your open house. Yes, and so we yes. want to let folks know that it's going to be Thursday, mm-hmm. July 28th, mm-hmm. and the open house is actually from 9 to 3, uh-huh. and we're going to be broadcasting live there from mm-hmm. 11 to 1. So we mm-hmm. just wanted to give mm-hmm. that shameless plug one more time there. <laughs> yeah, I, mm-hmm. yeah, and I want to say this. You know, a lot of times, you know, they have people who uh, take care of their loved ones and things, and mm-hmm. they're being paid for, you know, the CDS yes. programs and all of that. Yes. But even if you're taking care of them and you want to take a break or you have other things that you need to do, when they're at the adult daycare, you're still being paid, but they're under, you know, they're, they're at the daycare mm-hmm. and you can do other things while they're sure. there from from uh, 8, 8, 15 to, to, to 4, mm-hmm. you know. And then there are people with special needs folk and, you know, they may be, uh, you know, retarded or have handicaps and mm-hmm. everything. And so bring them to the daycare. Mm-hmm. A- amen. And we have activities for them yes. and all of that. And, and they can be there. And, again, they could do other things yes. while they're at the at you know at at the daycare and stuff. So it works out so good 
for people, and um, it's going to be good. I'm I'm excited about that. Indeed. You all be in there. <laughs> Indeed, you know, I just I talk so much with uh, First Lady Yvette about the mm-hmm. the vision and and that he is giving uh, mm-hmm. her and yourself and and mm-hmm. how it's at fruition and how mm-hmm. I have mm-hmm. been there many 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 times. And I want to tell you the food is oh, just, just excellent. Say oh, That's God. all I can say. We can talk about that all day. <laughs> and then the fact that you feel like you're in a family. Yes, yes. And you yes, want that yes. when you're bringing your loved one. Am I mm-hmm. right, Bishop? Absolutely, absolutely. We take care of them just like it was our own Mm -hmm. mother or father or sisters Mm -hmm. and brothers. And Mm -hmm. it really hurt me to see how people, and then, uh, sorry to say, how some people treat their loved ones and stuff. And then how, you know, some of them get these little glitches with their paperwork or with Mm -hmm. their Medicaid, Medicare, all these type Mm -hmm. of things. So we advocate with them. And then also people who have like the spin downs, some Mm -hmm. people that know what that's about. Mm -hmm. We have a program that also work with that. That works with that so that they can attend the daycare uh, seniors and, and handicapped and all these different people they have to keep their brains active yes. they have to keep the <laughs> cognitive reasoning and stuff going and so uh, by my wife being an occupational therapist mm-hmm. and me being uh, who I am we 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 make sure that we have the things that is necessary for all of that. Amen. So, I, yeah, it's Amen. Be great. To God it's be great. the glory. It's well, great. I tell it's you, we want to get into your part too, okay. mm-hmm. because uh, our topic has been mm. faith matters. Faith matters. Faith mm-hmm. matters. And mm-hmm. in the times mm-hmm. that we're in, in our communities, mm-hmm. in our lives, mm-hmm. in our mm-hmm. families, huh, mm-hmm. you better have a relationship with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and your mm-hmm. faith matters. Mm-hmm. See, people have to be taught. What faith is and how faith operates. Not that they don't have it, but they, and then the importance, the topic is faith matters. Now, Hebrews 11, the 11th chapter and the sixth verse let us know God said that without faith, it is impossible to please God. You know, and when you're saying that, this is talking about you have to keep exercising your faith. Mm-hmm. A lot of times people may use their faith and then stop and sit on their sit on their laurels. It's just like a muscle. You have to keep exercising it. And what God wants to see is you exercising your faith in his name, exercising your faith in his blood, exercising your faith in his word, his power and his ability to, to, to cause you to uh, be more, of a conqueror, more victorious. Our faith is in his ability, yes. in his power, what he can do. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. People can say it in their mind, oh, I have oh, I have faith. No, but you have to exercise it. Faith without works is dead, just like the body without the spirit is dead. Faith without works is dead. You know, evangelist Nona, I was, I was speaking about how when it comes to faith, I'm like a scientist. You know, science is the discovery of what God created. And what science does, what they do, is they take what God created and then they break it down with their theories and hypotheses and all of that. Okay, so how do we know what water is made up of? Because science took it, broke it down, and it's H2O. One part uh, uh, hydrogen, two part oxygen, whichever way it goes, uh, Two part mm-hmm. hydrogen, one part oxygen, mm-hmm. and we have when we have water. Okay, mm-hmm. so uh, dealing with faith, I know that faith is a law. I know the components of it, how it works, how to get. And I'd rather teach you how to catch fish than to keep giving you fish. So when a person know how to believe God for something, oh, that is awesome. And then they can grow in leaps and bounds in regards to it. Your faith matters. And without your faith, it's impossible to please God. You say, well, I'm living for God. I'm serving God. I'm I'm not in, in sin. I'm doing this, that. All of that is fine. That's your reasonable service. But he said, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So in the in the midst of all the turmoil, in the midst of all of the things that's going on, on last week we said that Jesus, amen, went to J. Iris' house because of J. Iris' faith. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. And see, you may be on the boat like Peter and, and all of the disciples, but who was the one that challenged Jesus with their faith? It was Peter. He said, Lord, if it's you, bid me to come. And he received that Rima word to come out of the boat. Now, all the rest of them were there, but they did not use any type of faith to say the same. They could have said the same thing mm-hmm. Peter said. Lord, if it's you, bid me to come. Amen. He stepped out there. And I'm going to tell you, your faith is what gets God's attention. 
When he sees somebody about to step out in faith, about to step out of that boat, about to step out and believe him for the next level that they need in their life, the next level of provision, the next level of protection, whatever it is, your faith matters. Amen. Amen. It matters. Uh, I, I've, I've found that, you know, when situations and challenges get tight, that's when some, you know, we get we get we get weary. Mm -hmm. We get weary, and the Bible is mm -hmm. very clear. Don't mm -hmm. get weary in well-doing. Absolutely. For in due season, oh, mm -hmm. you're going to reap. Yeah, see, your, your faith matters. In Psalms 107, it talks about those who go down to the sea in ships and do business in great water. See, do business in deep water. Mm -hmm. See, your faith matters. If you're trying to move your business, your family, your ministry to the next level of manifestation, you have to step up. Out into deep water and when they step out into deep water yes you're going to reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man and come to your wits end amen <laughs> and then that's when they see God move in, in in the deep and so it's very important to exercise your faith the Bible declares in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 18 and 19 he, he said that God has given you a portion but you have to take your portion hmm. You have to take your portion, and the way to take your portion in this life is through your faith in Christ Jesus. Now, remember, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. But if you don't mix mix the word that you hear with faith, mm -hmm. you'll just still be sitting still, mm -hmm. still be sitting there. Mm -hmm. You have to step out because your faith matters. Oh, my God. And like I said on last week. He said in St. Mark 11 and 24, therefore, I say unto you, whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and ye shall have them. When you pray, you must pray in faith. Yes. You know, and you must believe that you have it when you pray. You have to believe that you have it when you pray. Now, on last week, I told you that when you say in the name of Jesus, you're sealing that prayer. Also, Faith is released when you say in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory be Hallelujah. to God. It is faith is released when you say in the name of Jesus. Faith is released when you act upon the word. Faith is released when you say in the name of Jesus. Meaning that faith is released and also power is released mm -hmm. when you say in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's it makes sure it, it guarantees that your prayer is being answered. And it causes the power of God to be released when you say in the name of Jesus, because you're focusing on Jesus. Yes. See, the, the point that I want to make is that it's not your power. It's not your ability. It's his ability. When you believe that he has enough power to get the job done. That's it. When you Glory. believe that he has enough power to get the job done. No it's matter what it is. It's not mm -hmm. about us. It's not about, ain't never been no. about us. It's no. about him. Mm -hmm. When you believe that he has enough power to get the job done. Mm -hmm. You know, I never forget one preacher talking and God told him, he said, I want you to get this. I want you to get this uh, airplane. He said, you know, I already have a plane, but God wanted me to get this, get this airplane. I'm not talking about who y'all think I'm talking okay, about. Okay, all amen. right. <laughs> so I'm not going to call it the names. But amen, I could have downsized. But anyway, he said, I don't, have the money. I don't have the money in order to do that. He said, I'm not asking you to get the airplane. He said, I'm asking you to believe that I'm able to get it to you. Okay, let's let me downsize it because people go into thinking about somebody in Atlanta, or whatever. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not talking about that. Okay, now, but the principle is the same when it's talking about faith. Jesus wants you to believe that He is able to get what you ask Him for to you. Yes, Jesus yes. wants to know if you believe mm -hmm. that He's able to get what you're asking Him for. To you, he's not asking you to get it. He's asking, do you believe that I'm able to get this to you? Oh, glory, glory be to, to God. God. That's Hallelujah. A That's a revelation right there for some. Yes. That's good. That's good. Bishop, we're about out of time oh, now. Oh, my God. You, you, you think you can get a a, 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 a word from the Lord for another Sunday? Can you do it again next week, Bishop? <laughs> Absolutely. And I want to say this prophetically. I feel that there are many of you out there that you're in the midst of a turnaround that's getting ready to happen for you. I know the enemy will come to try to discourage you. He bring those D's before you. Well, we'll talk about the D's on next week. All right. 
Right. Glory the be D's. to God. All those right. those four D's that the enemy brings mm -hmm. against your faith and to try to get you to back off. But there are those of you that you're on the brink of things turning around for you and God causing a manifestation to happen. And I just want to keep you in that focus so you can receive from exercising your faith because your faith matters. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you so much. <laughs> Always a, a revelatory word when you come on the program, Praise Bishop. God. Praise Bishop God. Prentice Thomas, my friend, yeah. a part of the CBC radio show today. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much, my evangelist. Praise <laughs> God. <laughs> Amen. My friends, we're going to get that part three. All right. Coming up on next week. Okay. Let's take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Who says that having diabetes means you can't still whip up delicious homemade food when you know the basics of meal planning? You can make almost any recipe work. So don't throw out your cookbooks or toss your favorite recipes just yet. Instead, try these tips to help you cook sensibly on the lighter side. I'm Katherine Smith with Umami Catering and Events, here to share healthy cooking techniques for people with diabetes that the entire family can enjoy. You can have tasty, healthy meals at home when you have diabetes by making a few simple changes changes to the way you choose and prepare your food. There are things you can do in the kitchen to manage your eating without stressing out. Many times you can cut the amount of sugar without seriously affecting taste or texture by reaching for ingredients other than sugar, salt, and fat to satisfy your taste buds, such as trying different herbs and spices, such as cinnamon, cardamom, and, nut and nutmeg. Some spices may even have health benefits of their own, like cinnamon, for example, may help lower your blood sugar level. Then choose leaner cuts of meats, which means buying select cuts instead of prime. Having no more than four ounces of red meat, cook with extra lean ground beef or use ground turkey or chicken, remembering to trim off any excess fat. Remove the skin before cooking chicken and turkey and eat seafood such as salmon, sardines, and mackerel two to three times a week. Incorporating other methods of preparing your meats instead of frying will cut fat and cholesterol. Limit your intake of processed foods also and steam your vegetables in water or low-sodium broth instead of butter, making sure that at least half your plate or veggies at every meal. Cook healthy by using cooking spray or small amounts of olive or canola oil instead and use herbs and spices to see in your foods rather than salt. These are just a few of many tips to help you choose and cook wisely on the lighter side with Umami Catering and Events. For catering at its finest, we can be reached at umamicatering at AOL.com or you can simply call us at 314-412-4119. Again, that number is 314-412-4119. Till next time, God bless. Friends, haven't we had a wonderful time? I just give God the glory. He always comes in, puts this show together. I thank God so much. I thank my producer, Alex, for all of the just technical stuff that he does that only he can do it. So God is truly in the Christian Business Connection CBC radio show. I, You know, there's so much going on, my friends, and I don't want you to miss anything. So make sure you go to my website, thecbcradioshow.com, because you'll see information about our July Author of the Month. You'll see info about our guests. You'll see info about the upcoming CBC live radio broadcast remote on Thursday, July 28th. So, you know, we want you to be there to come on out and join me as we do the do this thing live, okay? And then also, uh, make sure you're putting your on your calendar for the next Christian Business Connection networking and prayer breakfast that's going to be on the 26th, that Tuesday at Old Henry Restaurant. Glory to God. We're going to have a great time there. We will. We will. Will. And then also the um, women's retreat, which is October 14th through the 16th. That is uh, one of the first events that I'm doing under Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. And I want to tell you, we're going to have a phenomenal time. So much is going on with the Christian Business Connection and the new ministry. And we know that you can't do everything, but I'm telling you, you don't want to miss anything either. So go to the website, stay in tuned at thecbcradioshow.com and also go Go to nonathomasworldwide.com. Thank you for listening to the CBC radio show today. You know how it goes. Always in closing, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.